Welcome back to All Things Outdoors on this wonderful, windy Sunday afternoon. Um, I, I decided to go ahead and make something. After my last backpacking trip, which sadly there's not a video for, uh, I went down to Red River Gorge in Kentucky, met up with Jeremiah Stringer and backpacking with Jason. Uh, and we did some off-trail hiking. It was wonderful. It was about a month or two ago. Um, the only bad thing about it was the bugs were terrible. In fact, I woke up itching all over the place. I probably looked like I had some type of skin disease. I had so many bug bites on me, uh, but it was that was the only bad thing about that trip. I got to thinking, well, I've never really had a bug net with any of my hammocks just because I don't like them. I don't like being stuck inside the bug net. I like being open, but maybe there might be a need for it. Now, Bumblebee, if you've ever watched the channel, has made his appearances in uh, some of my videos. He's kind of special to me, so I can't see just getting rid of him just to get a hammock with a bug net. So what I ended up doing is making a bug net that is really, you could say, universal for any other hammock that I'll ever own. So it was a design I kind of worked on, kept trying to figure out how to make it useful, something that uh, is not complex, that is easy to use, that I could use for multiple hammocks, and obviously doesn't weigh a lot. So let me show you my design here. What I came up with is a bug net that is similar to the half wit, as you've seen from Dutchware gear, but only it's universal and can be taken on and off of a hammock. So right now I have it shoved all the way back. Something that you can do to deploy it here, and I'll just go ahead and pull this pressic loop over here real quick. So that's gonna keep it in play, but this bug net actually has little coattails that'll tuck between your under quilt and your hammock to kind of seal it off. And on the back side, I decided to kind of stitch it down about halfway and leave a little bit of a bridge. So that way, hammocks a different size can be, it can be used. Uh, it's not linked to something that's just custom fit for Bumblebee. So plus, once you're tucked into your underquilt, as I'll show you, it actually will seal all of this off. After I stitched it along the back, I went ahead and put a panel on the front. The, now this panel, is what goes across the front of you and it actually lays down over the top of you a bit uh, and on this side it's stitched all the way down except i left about four inches where i used some snaps now that i did just to allow a little bit more of uh, adjustability on the right hand side but on the left hand side there's snaps from the top to the bottom and this is actually how you would remove it from the hammock once you undo all these snaps on this side right here, it actually can be removed from the hammock pretty easily. The other side is stitched together. So now that you kind of have an idea of what it looks like on the outside, let me go ahead and get in it and you can kind of see how it works when I'm on the inside, especially since you, it's a little windy and it's kind of difficult to, to show you from out here. We're good. There we go. As Suge would say, never forget to milk the berry. Oh. 
one thing that Presic loop does, it actually has a little bit of shock cord that I have that attaches to it and it helps kind of keep the tension and keep this bug net pulled off of my face. But once you tuck the coattails in the side of between your hammock and your under quilt, you're good. It's like I don't have it hitting me in the face. I've got plenty of room and I'm sealed off from the bugs. So the one thing that might happen is on a windy day, like today, like I said, it's extremely windy. I do get a little bit of blowover, but it's actually not hitting me in the face. Uh, I imagine if you had your tarp up, you're not gonna feel that wind blowing in to the side like I am right now. Uh, but the other thing is too, I never really felt a need to have full bug net because half the time from your for your legs, you're always in a quilt anyway, so the bugs can't get to you. So this was just an option to maybe kind of protect my face a little bit uh, at, at a significant amount of weight savings. I will say also, I'm starting to feel a little bit of, little bit of heat. So it's actually getting a little warmer in here. The number one reason why I never really liked bug nets is just I don't like that extra heat. I'm kind of a cold weather, cold nature guy. All right, if you got any questions about the coattail bug net, be sure to put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them best I can. Uh, also, be sure to look me up on Instagram at atod underscore 16. That's atod, A-T-O-D underscore 16. Till next time, guys. Later.